Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahu Shai, 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 Baha Shon, Racha Hakwadash, double honor to the elder apostles and elder bishops, the great millstone, peace and blessed to the elect of Israel, the house of David, peace and blessed to the elect. He forgave us like it was nothing. He forgave us like it was nothing. And, you know, the Lord did that. And it's a, a couple of things that comes to mind when he did that, you know. Basically, We should be that same way, you know. He he uh, he did that to serve as an example of how we should be toward one another. You know, that's why, you know, um, pretty much the disciples said, uh, asked the Lord, and was it Peter specifically? I, I forget which one specifically had asked him, how many times should I forgive my brother? You know seven times and then the Lord replied 70 times seven which the number seven it means completion you know seven means completion by itself but the Lord said 70 times seven you know so you you forgiven a brother an infinite amount of times you know which really um we speak about the elect the house of David Really, this is a family, you know? That's, that's really what it is. I mean, you, you, when you get into it, you know, it's the Lord's family. And, and really, we are related, man. You know? Going all the way back to the beginning, I pray we're part of that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, when the Lord forgave us, you know, it, he showed us we should be the same way. That's why that's written in the Our Father's Prayer. You know, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. That's why that's written. You know what I'm saying? That's why that's written. But also, it reminds me of um, Psalms chapter 130. I believe verse 3. Psalm 133. It says, um, I think you read it down to verse four, but it says, O Lord, if thou shouldest mark iniquities, who shall stand? And I'm paraphrasing right now because I'm driving. But it says, Lord, if thou shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? Because if the Lord pretty much held us accountable for everything we did, if he held everybody accountable for every sin they committed, we'd all drop dead right now. All life, as you know, would stop on earth. It'd be like that one scene in that movie Surrogate starring Bruce Willis, when everybody got unplugged, you know, from those machines. All those different cyborg bodies just start, you know, dropping. That's how it would be if the Lord just took out everybody because of their sins, man. You know, if all Israel was held accountable for everything that we've done, and you got to think about this life, but also our past lives, because we've been reincarnated many times. If the Lord marked every iniquity, ain't nobody going to survive. Like, no flesh will be saved. You know what I'm saying? But scriptures say, but there is forgiveness with thee that thou mayest be feared. You know? Because he, he forgives you like... And you, you know you didn't fucked up. But he forgave you like it was nothing. Like, and see, we, we done messed up. But see, the Lord, he brought us back, man. You know? He brings you back from hell. You'll be in certain situations, man. Like, it's almost like an alternate reality. You know what I'm saying? But then he'll throw you back in the real world, so to speak, as if that shit, even, it, like, like it didn't even happen to you. You know? But you went through it though. You did go through it. It did happen to you. But you know, 
the Lord still keeps you normal. He still keeps you sane. After you done went through some stuff, man. You know, you different brothers, man. Because brothers be going through stuff. You know, the main part, going back to that scripture. Okay. Another two scriptures. Lord, if thou shouldest mark iniquities. If thou shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? Who gonna survive? Who gonna be saved? If, if, if he looked at everything we did and, and he charged us with it. You know what I'm saying? Because pretty much... Uh, Sins are a crime. Well, you, you're breaking the law. You're breaking the law of the Lord. Not Esau laws. You're breaking the laws of the Lord. So you're committing crimes. And, and, and you know, a lot of these crimes we committed really are worthy for death. You know, you get capital punishment, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's why the Lord was pretty much getting on those different men that wanted to uh, stone Mary Magdalene. They wanted to stone her to death because, you know, she, she was an adulteress, which Mary Magdalene represents Israel. We committed spiritual adultery against, against the Heavenly Father. But those different, you know, Jakes, those different men that were so zealous for the laws, right? They were basically hypocrites because the Lord, like, you know, I can take y'all out for what y'all did, pretty much. Because, you know, he, the Lord was writing on the ground. What was he like, writing in sand? But pretty much like he, he's reading their minds and he's pretty much, you know, writing down in the Hebrew every sin they commit on. You did this, you, you know, like and, and just, just writing down what they did and like looking up at them. Which Christians, they'll read that, but they don't extract the spirituality from what they're reading. The Lord wasn't just writing on the ground. Now nah, he was writing their sins down. You know, just looking at them. Like, did this, you did that, like, you know. But, um, the Lord is merciful, man. Which Mary Magdalene, she's a special woman in the scriptures. You know? She's a very special woman in the scriptures. That's why during the Passover, she's remembered for what she did by knowing the body of the Lord. But Mary Magdalene, she's a special woman. I'm not going to put on a pedestal or anything, but I'm just saying, like, recognizing her for who she is. She's a special woman, you know? I'm going to just say... Everybody's reincarnated. You know, I'm gonna leave it at that. You know, she been on earth before too. You know what I'm saying? But um, she's, she's special. It's like the Lord had his different reincarnations. But um, yeah, man, the Lord forgave us to make us fear. Cause you know he can help us up. He, he can, man, we know what the Lord is capable of. And see, we have known his fear. The earth, the earth don't know his fear, man. We know what the Lord can do. Man, the Lord, woo, we know what he can do. We know what he's capable of. The earth don't know, but they're going to find out. Like what Jake say, you're going to learn today. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, call out like you how about Shemi Shai for blessing us to be a part of this thing, man. And um, I pray we continue. But just, you know, there was the random thoughts. There's nothing's random. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, like, you know, flowing the spirit. The Lord forgave us, man. You know what I'm saying? And he didn't have to, but he did. You know, so that's why we should be merciful. You know what I'm saying? We should be merciful, man. And guys that leave Great Millstone and got kicked out, those guys got showed mercy, man. Don't let Jake fool you now. They got showed hella mercy. They, re they received a lot of mercy, bro. It's not like, you know, the apostles or elder bishops or different regional camp heads was, well, you know, super tyrannical and just evil and they just kicked Jake out. Nah. Because, see, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, works through these men. And for Jake, they got the mindset. They got did wrong. They not in the right spirit, man. You know, Yahweh Shai was merciful to those different men by way of the church, man. You know, you were not just, you know, excommunicated for no reason or, you know, <laughs> you know, um, like you were just, hey, uh, just kicked out for no reason, man. If they got what's called a, uh, a dishonorable discharge, it's because of what they did, man. You know? 
Jake, Jake have spirits on him and you know Jake start tripping. And certain men were able to, you know, come back, you know, and that shows the mercy of the Lord too. But the point is, man, hey, that, that shows the Lord is to be feared, man. You think about all the bullshit we did in the world, different mistakes we made in the truth, man. And you, hey man, Lord merciful, bro. So can't nobody just act like, hey, the Lord, you know, it isn't a fair judge, man. He's more than fair, bro. He's more than fair, man. Because he can put some fire on our ass, you know? And he's gonna literally do that to individuals on the earth that don't fear him, man, that don't believe in him. He's gonna literally put some fire on them, you know? With that, I pray this edifying, you know, Lord willing. Double honor to our elder apostles and elder bishops, great millstones, still the will. Peace and blessing to the elect of Israel, the house of David, you know, the men whom you help Bashim El Shai is going to have mercy on in this time. Also, uh, a sincere shalom to you, uh, you know, you, uh, you different women that uh, subscribe to the message of salvation. And who also believe in your how about Shemel Shai? Because you have certain women that's a part of the elect as well. You know, it's not only men that's a part of the elect. The Lord is going to save certain women. Case in point, Mary Magdalene. You know, that, that's a woman of the Lord. Why is, she's, why is she mentioned every year at the Pesach for what she did? The Lord said that about her, you know, for her to be remembered. Lord women is edifying though. Right now I'm going to say Shalom. All right, uh, sh sh Shalom, you know, and um, stay strong. Y'all almost home. Shalom.